The concept behind the new Sound on Sound Studios was to build incredible tracking spaces, have a great complement of microphones, great mic pre's, great converters, minimal outboard gear, and to bring a truly state-of-the-art recording studio into the state of New Jersey. Hi, I'm David Amlin. Hey, I'm Tony Drew, and welcome to Sound on Sound Studios. Last year, we were honored to have the facility on the cover of Mix Magazine for the October issue. And this past January, we won the Tech Award at the NAM Award Dinner for Best Studio Design. And we were in a collection of quite a few other studio designers, so that was a really good honor for us. So one of the nice surprises since we opened is that not, not only a lot of our Manhattan clients, but uh, we've been pleasantly surprised by how many people are coming from Brooklyn. We've actually had uh, quite a few successes with some big uh, Broadway productions. We did Ain't Too Proud, uh, The Temptations uh, show on Broadway. And we've done a couple of off-Broadway shows as well, Sincerely Oscar, Wanda's World, which is going on tour right now. We've had Paul Schaefer out doing the, uh, the score for his new TV series that's coming out with pretty much the entire David Letterman band and Bernard Purdy. We've had a couple of big band projects. So, you know, musicians are uh, walking in the door and basically saying, oh my God, who knew that this was out here? And they're really enjoying the, the space and that's uh, obviously a good thing for us. So with many of the major New York facilities, including my own studio MSR, having closed in the last couple of years, there aren't a lot of opportunities and places where musicians can go and do large scale recordings. And that's one of the great things about this studio. At the end of a session, it feels wonderful to get an email from somebody saying, it's an incredible uh, experience working at your facility. Your staff is amazing and thank you so much. And that happens pretty much on a regular basis with us. Part of our mission statement as a commercial facility, we feel the need to give back to the community. And we were approached by SoftTube to do an educational event and that perfectly fit in with our ideas. You said, I'm using a gate on my kick drum but I can't get it to not sound horrible. The problem is you were trying to visually adjust a gate as opposed to using your ears. The second you took your hand and you put your hand on the knob and closed your eyes, you instantly got a thousand times better of a result. You know, one of the things I took away from our soft tube event were questions from some of the people who attended about the difference of using actual knobs to adjust parameters on gates, compressors, and EQs, as opposed to clicking and dialing them with a mouse. So I think there's something very special about being able to sit in front of a console with faders and knobs, and actually it's a tactile response. It's like playing a musical instrument, as opposed to clicking on a mouse and hitting an area on the screen. And it's just something that, um, me personally, I don't think I could work the other way. As more and more plugins from companies like SoftTube and UAD, we got to AB the actual hardware that we had with this, the software emulations, and they are incredible now to the point where it, it doesn't make financial sense to keep a closet full of this old gear, especially when you consider the cost of maintaining it and the fact that on any given day, it may not behave the same way sonically. It's interesting, I mean, the, the emulation of the tube tech stuff now, it's, it's pretty incredible. So I've really embraced this whole hybrid approach where I use console and faders, but I have all my effects in the box. Makes recalls of mixes instant, and you still get the tactile experience of mixing on a console, which there really isn't a substitute for. Dave and I have been in this business for over 60 years and we've pretty much seen everything you can possibly imagine. Every type of client, every type of musical genre um, in, in working in our facilities. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure building a studio of this caliber in this community, watching it grow, giving back to the community such as Jazz House Kids and having educational opportunities here for aspiring engineers and artists. 
And it's just been an absolute simple pleasure um, watching this grow into the you know successful business that we that we've made it into.